Hi everyone, it's Pastor Tracy once again live from my living room where I, just like you, have been spending a lot of time as of late. This is also the space where our family worships each and every week as we gather in our living room to give thanks to God and to connect with our community. Some people have wondered how exactly do we prepare this space for worship? It's our home. It's where we do so many normal and everyday things. We eat our meals together. A lot of us do work from home now, and we spend time with our families as well. Well, we wanted to take a few minutes and share some possibilities with you as you prepare your home for worship. Some members of our congregation have shared with me that they like to prepare by getting into their Sunday best. They get dressed up and they prepare themselves physically for worship just like they would if they were going to go to a service in person. Other people like to prepare their home and tidy it up a bit, prepare the space so it feels more like a sanctuary to them. Other options may include remembering your baptism. You can get a small bowl and put some water in it. And just like you do in the sanctuary, take your finger, dip your hand in the bowl, and make the sign of the cross on your forehead, remembering God's grace poured out to you in the waters of baptism. Sometimes our family likes to set up a candle and light a candle before the start of worship so that we can remember the light of Christ that shines with us and goes before us always. Other families have shared with me that they like to take an important cross and place it in a prominent space in their home worship area. This might be a cross that they received at their wedding or even a cross from their child's baptism. Whatever the option, make it comfortable for you and make it a sacred space for your family. Because we receive our worship material several days in advance, you may take that time to mark up your Bibles ahead of time so each family member can look ahead and follow along in their home Bible. Other families have taken advantage of what our youth and children and family ministries often begin and end their time with, highs and lows. They'll share what was the high of their week or their day what was the low of their week or day, and where did they see the hand of God at work in their lives? If you live on your own, this might be something you could do with a friend via text or FaceTime or even over the phone. Whatever it is that you do to prepare your hearts for worship and your home, know that God goes before you, that God goes with you, and that God is always present, ready for us in worship. And now let us worship our Lord. Mm -hmm. 